New tonight, it's not just a sinkhole slowing traffic in Kaka'ako. While that repair project is expected to last until summertime, Rick Daysog found other road work sites are sending drivers the, rather, the other way. Kaka'ako has been touted as an urban jewel of Honolulu. But right now, there are so many construction projects that area residents, consumers, and businesses say it's beginning to resemble a hard to navigate maze. No matter where you go around in these corners, you're going to run into some sort of traffic and, and especially during the daytime, some sort of, uh, hey, you got a detour around here, make a left and go upstairs and bend back downstairs. It's, it's, it's great. It's madness. Well, I went to Office Max first and I went to get some sake bottles over here and I got blocked off three different ways because I had to go all the way down to Ward and all the way down to Queen Street to get over here. This section of Halekawila Street has been closed since October due to a sinkhole. But since then, a number of road construction projects have caused even more disruption for businesses and consumers in the area. Nadine Leong is the owner of the sake shop, which is next to the sinkhole. She says her sales are down since the city closed the nearby street for repairs. We are doing less per month than we were doing last year. So that, that, that's a big deal for us. It, it was not going in that trajectory um, prior <laughs> to the closure. We were actually doing a, a much better. The city says it was conducting other road repair projects elsewhere in Kaka'ako when the sinkhole problem was discovered. It says staffers with the Office of Economic Revitalization have been talking to dozens of businesses to provide as much support as possible while the repairs were being made. The road repaving has been going on for a few months, but on top of it, here comes a sinkhole and we need to be doing both projects at the same time, much to the chagrin of the area businesses. But it has to be done. But you know, what more can we do? Can we connect them with micro loan grants? Can we connect them with federal and state resources? And really, can we tell the public these businesses are still open? You can still access them. Rick Daysog, Hawaii News Now.